There's so much information and misinformation out there about detoxing and detox diets. Are they real? Are they not real? Does our body even detoxify? Um, questions like that that I get a lot. And so my name is Miriam Jacobson. I'm a functional medicine dietitian. And today I'm talking to you about the truth about detox. So everything that you need to know in order to then make your decision and make your plan whether or not you're going to detox, and if so, what that's going to look like for yourself. So the first thing is to understand what toxins are and where they come from. So toxins are a really scary word, right? Um, but they're just used to describe foreign substances that our bodies can't process um, and can't utilize and can actually cause harm. So they come in through our lungs, through our skin and actually through our digestive system when we consume foods, water, things like that. And so some common sources are um, like plastics and inorganic produce. Um, so it comes from like pesticides and insecticides. It can come from heavy metals, environmental pollution. And so in our modern world, as you can imagine, we are constantly exposed to toxins. Um, they're constantly coming into our bodies um, and our bodies need to process them and eliminate them so that we can keep ourselves safe and keep ourselves healthy. And our bodies are really, really good at doing this. And so our liver is our main hub for detoxification. And so that's where a lot of detox diets focus. But what a lot of them also miss is how those toxins, what's happening afterwards. And so our liver is taking those toxins, converting them to a safe form so that they can then leave the body. And so they leave the body through the lungs, through the skin, through the kidneys, and through the gut. So when you um, expire air, when you sweat, when you pee, and when you poop, that is the way that toxins actually leave the body. And that's a main reason why you do those things. Um, and so a really good detox diet not only focuses on liver health, but it also focuses on total body wellness. And so what are the practices? What are the foods that you can use in order to optimize those functions as well? So number three is, does your body need to detoxify? Is it important for you to focus on detoxification? So the answer is, Yes, right? Because our bodies are always detoxifying. But the extent to which like our bodies are affected by toxins is a different thing. So I imagine the body like a big bucket of water with a spout on the bottom. And so the water that's coming into our bucket is everything that we're exposed to in the world around us. And so it's going to be things like our diet, our water, um, and all of like the sources of toxins that I mentioned above. That's, those are the water that's coming into our bucket. And our body's the physical vessel, the physical bucket. And our the spout on the bottom of the bucket, that's our body's detox mechanism. And so as you can see, there is a bottleneck effect, right? There is, you know, the water is coming out slower oftentimes than the water is coming up to fill in our bucket. And so what most people miss and really the first step, so this is number four, is the first step in detoxing is to reduce your body's exposure, reduce the amount of water that's coming into your bucket. Because what happens when we don't is eventually the bucket can become really heavy, so it's like not super fun to carry around, right? And then water becomes starts spilling over. And during that spillage, when that water is spilling over, that's when we start to experience symptoms. And so those symptoms can be bloating, it can be fatigue and brain fog, um, sluggish, sluggishness, it can also be sensitivity to chemicals and perfumes. And so there are lots of ways, you know, that symptoms can manifest and it really depends on a person by person basis. But the idea is we constantly want to nurture the mechanism and ways that spout, so ways that toxins are leaving our bodies because that's how we stay healthy. So but that first step in detoxification is reducing that load, reducing the amount of water that's coming in and filling up our buckets. And so I'd encourage you to actually, there's a blog post attached to this video. 
scroll down to the bottom of the post and just look through and scan, you know, do I already do these things? Do I use clean deodorant? Do I use clean beauty products? Um, utilize the resources that I provided for you at the bottom so that, you know, you don't have to commit to some crazy juice plan, juice cleanse right away, right? Because that's not always the most effective way that you can support your body on the long term through detoxification. Um, part two of this is gonna talk about functional foods and practices that you can do to support your body's processing and elimination of toxins. So if you're interested in being the first to know when that comes out, drop your email in that newsletter sign up um, and you will get a notice when that is live. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions about detoxing and detox diets, um, something more specific than that, please feel free to pop a comment below um, and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.